Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? So, this is going to be me starting a new game, because it says the Uncharted Waters update is a fresh start required for new save files, and I could load my game that I played before, but it would be a legacy game. So, I'm coming back to the game after not having played since some updates, and I just want to see where it's at. There's been controller support that has been added to the game, so I'm excited to see how it plays with the controller, among other things. So we're going to make a new world called Dr. Incom um, New, and we're just going to create game, and we're going to play standard mode, and here we go. All right, and... Uh, we can use WASD or we can use the mouse or you can use the controller once you get into the game. Now, I've played this before. The developer recommends the mouse. I actually like WASD. It just feels better uh, to me. And where is Len from? Uh, so you can kind of choose, you know, where you're from and it will change uh, your appearance, right? And uh, I'll go with... Uh, Zengard City this time. I was Jaro Islands before. I'll just mix it up somewhat. And um, his facial type is going to be masculine. That's fine. Does he wear shoes? Um, you know, I, I get a sense that the answer is definitely not. Um, but you can also say no, right? So you have two choices which are rather similar, but the shades of subtlety here um are not lost on me so definitely not all right and let's go ahead and you know get the sandiest hair that we can and um ooh, look at this blazer uh-huh not maybe appropriate for oh the aladdin vest okay yeah that's very good uh, now we can go with like the uncharted kind of look here um let's just change the hairstyle i wonder if i can get a beard Hey, hey, Jay, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Um, yeah, this is what I went before. And then uh, we can have pants. But again, you know, I'm on the island, so it only seems fitting to, to wear shorts. All right. Shorts, backpack, T-shirt. I think I look all right there. That's fine. Uh, go for it. So I have played through the beginning portion of the game, but it'll be interesting to see if they've changed um, anything significantly. Alex, good evening, my friend. Yeah, this is a, um, it's an early access game, and it's kind of like an isometric, um, well, you'll see in a moment. Uh, your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the lighthouse rush began, hoping to build a new life. Oh, great, Jay. I'm glad you're enjoying Battle Brothers. Yeah, I've been loving playing Battle Brothers, too. There's so much to learn there. So this game is um, kind of like Stardew Valley, kind of like um, Dinkum, kind of, you know, in that crafting survival building game uh, but you get to build up the town itself which is really cool uh, so let's see let's just check this out so if i'm using a controller which i am okay uh, i'm moving myself here i can open this and um i'm not i'm going to be able to skip through most of these tutorials because i know uh how to play but let's just make sure nothing has changed Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar to equip them. Any unequipped hotbar items are sent to your chest. All of your resources are accessible from your backpack and do not require storage. Um, it does, Alex. It has a day and night cycle. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, the graphics are great, and there's a really nice vibe to this game, and they're adding a lot to it. Now, this third option is one of the things that really uh, is interesting about the game, which is that... You know, unlike Valheim or Stardew, you don't have to manage your inventory as much because you can 
carry just an enormous amount of resources around uh, without having to play in like inventory Tetris or, you know, using lots of storage chests too extensively, which is nice. Um, and you equip food items by dragging them from your backpack to your hotbar. That's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just see what controlling with the gamepad feels like. Um, I know that, uh, for example, you know, I can swing my sword here. And you see how there's like a kind of flash. If you push the attack button when the circle is flashing and time it right, you can chain combos together. And you can do this with just about any, you know, different... Uh, interaction. Let's see. Uh, let's. Yep. Here's my axe. But I need to. There we go. No. How do I? There's a way to. There we go. Yeah. You push in the L3 to select a different tool. Okay. So let's take a gander. So we need to construct a house, place a bed, build a workbench, explore the map, and visit the mayor. Lots of things to do. All right, so we can look at the map right away. Uh, and where the X and the town is kind of in the center of the island. So we'll just close it up. And if I want, for example, to gather right here, I can bat this with my weapon or my pickaxe, I suppose, in this case. But what they're telling you is if you time it right, um, you do critical hits, which just make it go faster, which is great. Now, it's almost easier for me to get into the rhythm of that um, audibly because uh, I picked up that bottle for some glass. Some of the timing you do it like actually after you hit it, it took me a bit. I kept thinking like, you know, I need to do it right when I make impact, but it's actually something that you do uh, right when you are uh, done hitting it almost. All right, so we're going to switch over to our sword, and I believe... Uh, we can gather all of this grass, and this is actually really important stuff to get. There we go. As is wood. So we'll just be gathering resources for a moment. Uh, you can switch on your hotbar with the triangle button on the controller, then push L3 in to change your tool, and then right bumper swings. You can see if I crit, I'm doing 16 instead of 12. Yeah, Alex, it is a fun game. And then you pick up all this wood right here. Great. And uh, I need to go back to my sword to gather these berries and such. Um, you'll get uh, in the bottom center of the UI, you can see I have a satiety bar. I have hit points, I have experience, and I also have satiety. So there is like some light survival management. And you need to eat stuff like those berries that I picked up. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back to our axe because um, if I want to build, all right, I can push up to open my backpack um, and I can push right to open the build menu um, or the build camera. This is so far, okay, the only way to rotate the camera in the game is with this build mode and it's fantastic. I really hope at some point... Uh, they allow you to, you know, rotate this uh, on the main screen. Currently, you can't rotate the camera. It's a it's a fixed camera game. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and switch to my axe and get some more lumber. You do need actually a surprising amount of resources to do stuff, so it behooves you to just go chop stuff down but also as you can see uh see if i can toggle between any of these panels um so here's my food here's my uh different things that i can build and here's uh you have tech tree for skill points and stuff so there's a lot going on in this game all right and we'll just go ahead and close that up and continue the business of chopping down trees. 
The zero damage is to the bush. Like, the axe absolutely will not cut with the bush. You have to use the right tool for the proverbial job. So I'm just going to happily kind of gather resources. Now, another thing you'll notice if you... Oh, oh God, it's bees. Um, all right, I'm getting stung by bees. That can happen when you chop down a tree. Another thing you'll notice about this game that sets it apart from some other survival kind of crafting third-person games like this is that you don't have stamina. Like, I'm going around cutting down trees, but there is no stamina on my character. There is satiety, but that's it. So you could just do this, you know, as you want. Yes, Alex, 100%. There are enemies. So that's a great question. So Alex is asking if there's enemies. Um, yes, there are dungeons in this game, and they kind of fight out like uh, Zelda style. It's like Stardew Valley in that it has like a little bit of all sorts of different types of games like mashed up, but uh, the dungeon and fighting is more intense than in Stardew Valley. Like you have to do more stuff. You have to do these kind of like combat roles. There's parrying, um, there's bosses and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more in-depth uh, for the combat. There's no enemies on this main screen, though, at least right now. Um, you're just kind of rolling around. There's some crabs. Uh, and you can go over here, you can break this. Get what's inside the barrel. And now you'll see we're actually full of wood. So given the fact that we're full on wood, uh, let's go ahead and make a house. So I'm going to go to the build menu, um, and uh, let me just kind of select a different tab here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me go back to this tab. And this took me a bit when I first started playing, but you have to build this, the wooden foundation, um, if you want to build anything. Okay, so it says all homes start with foundations. Drag the first item in your build menu to place a foundation. And then um, to edit your builds, enter with F. Make camera building, uh, make building easier using the camera controls and level switching. And then you can upgrade your home by building more like workshops and forges and stuff to change the style. So... You have to have this down to build a house. Okay. And um, I'm going to build one. And it kind of snaps together. And I'm out of stone. So we need more stone to build more. So I'm just going to push circle to cancel this. And I'm going to go over to my pickaxe, select it, and start doing some work. Fantastic. Just getting the crits. All right, and you see we got 14 stone out of that big rock there. You can't mine every piece of stone, by the way. It's important to, uh, like, some of it's just purely decorative. Even that on the ground, it looks like it might be stone, but it's not. You can't hit it. So you kind of have to make sure the, the game will sort of highlight what you can interact with. Like, this you can't break, but this you can. You see, it'll turn lighter when you get close to it. Meaning, like, hey, you can hit this. Well, you actually have to hit it, but yeah. And you can level up things like do more damage um, when you're mining or gathering resources, stuff like that. A stronger pickaxe will do more damage and make quicker work of things like this. Uh, this is clay if we need any of this. We will need clay for our roof. This is a... Thank you, Alex. Another great question. Stuff does usually respawn, but I don't have enough experience, Alex, to know how fast. Usually, like, almost every day it seems to respawn. I haven't encountered running out of resources. Um, you see this wall right here? This is the town. So the town is, like, defended. And you can come in down here. Um, but before we go to the town, this is our starting box. I'm going to go try to finish our house before it becomes nighttime. It might not be possible, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Now, if I look at the map, by the way, okay, uh, you can see where I'm at on the map, but I haven't marked my actual house yet, 
and that should be something that we do pretty soon. So I'm going to just open the build menu, select a house. All right. This is really like nice, chill game. And I'm going to move the camera around so you can see it. There we go. And I'm in the way, so I can't build it. Now we can. Or am I out of stone? Nope, not out of stone. I was just in the way. All right, so I'll just select this. And, oh, um, hmm. I wonder what is problematic about that. Can I rotate it? I can, but anyway, it's not happy with me building it there for some reason. Maybe I need to ch like chop down the tree or something. That's right, Alex. Um, hey, someone. Good evening. Hello. Good to see you. Yes, this is a fun game. Um, it doesn't look like... Th there is no building animation. It just builds instantly. Correct, Alex. Now, I don't know, Alex, if with, like, more ornate structures, that changes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can hit yourself with the tree. Maybe this bush is in the way, actually. God, wouldn't that be nice? All right. Get out of here. All right. Now maybe I can build again. Let's see. Okay, I can't. So because I can't build right there, um, let's see. Can I build two up here? I can't. I'm going to build my house over here then. So just build one here and one here. Great. And then I'm going to then start trying to build some walls. All right. And things snap together pretty easily. Rotate the camera around. And we can build this one, like with the window. And we're out of wood. Hey, Luffy, good evening. Alex, good evening. Yes, Alex, I had to start over because I wanted to do the... Uh, Uncharted Waters content and it told me that my original save would be a legacy save so um, I would have to start over to access that stuff so here we are starting over now I don't want to hit my house come on just hit that tree there we go yes Alex there certainly are weather effects um, I don't know about snow, but I've seen it rain. And you can see it's changing tonight pretty rapidly here. So we're going to need to pick all this stuff up. It doesn't matter, by the way, if we can't rest. It's just, you know, a thing. Oh, okay, someone. Thank you. There we go. Now we're getting a bunch of lumber going. I've been hurting myself, and you can see I'm getting quite hungry. So I can go to the fourth slot and just eat some berries. But this isn't actually great for my satiety, so um, hunger might become a problem here. Now, we will continue building just like this. Okay, so I'm going to put a front door like right here and then a window over here and there and there and then the rest will be walls let me just kind of move that around there we go that's a great question Alex yes there are torches we need to build some light sources you're right it's getting dark all right, let's go down here, and we'll just kind of continue moving the camera. And now we have our house with all the walls. So let me just check and move this down to see if I can find any uh, anything like that. So it would be 
Uh, maybe, no, not here. Here we go. Uh, the lamp requires some more complicated where I can make a fire pit, but I need coal for that, unfortunately. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we want to make is a bed, I believe. We just need some grass and some wood, and we can sleep and then pass the time. So let's get that going. Hey, Fire Rat. Good evening, my friend. It's going great. How you doing? Thanks for asking. Yes, Alex. Exactly. Alex has it. So, once we get enough um, lumber and stuff, I'll just make it daytime so you guys can see. Sorry about that. It fell on my house, but it just breaks and we're okay. It's not like Valheim, you know, where you have to worry about your house getting damaged, at least right now anyway. All right, we're going to go ahead and build this. And we can, you know build our bed in this back corner here and I'm going to close this and I can just use the bed bed must be under a roof oh my god F trees good evening yes Luffy um, I plan on doing rift wizard again next week my friend okay F trees good to see you oh cool I've been seeing a lot about small land um, Alex you been having fun that with that? Okay, just cover the bed. We will. That's great. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot about that game. It looks really cool. All right, so you can build a bunch of cool different roofing tiles. Um, let me see if I can find the one that I want. Yeah, here it is. So we'll just build that right there. And then now the bed is placed under a roof. So I should be able to sleep here. And we're going to set the bed, first of all. And then we're going to sleep. Here you go. Alex should be much easier to see. You could see the kind of sun, you know, circling around and bam, sun's rising. Our house is looking sweet. Okay, so I can build some more roof. By the way, this does, if you're just starting out, um, the game cuts away so, you know, you can see inside your home the walls will become invisible but you see i just have one bed and one roof and some walls and this does count as a house we need to build a workbench and we need to visit the mayor to finish the kind of like tutorial now let me um i need to build some steps for my front so i'm going to go ahead and just select this and just put these out here like right there perfect so now you see when we go out, we can just walk right in and out, and it's beautiful. Works great. Okay. Um, we need to build a workbench, so let's look at that. The workbench is right here. And it takes uh, 12 grass and 40 wood. No problem. And this music is very relaxing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our axe out and just keep chopping the trees down there we go my house has been crushed so eventually they turn into segments and you can start by the way to get like, if I go here, you'll notice that if I look at my resources, I can only carry, like, 100 wood. But if you get a bigger backpack, which is a huge upgrade, you can actually carry more at a time. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Alex. Wow. That does sound pretty brutal. Um... All right, I'm going to go over here and change it to the build tab. Go back to the roof, and we can just build some more corner segments. Let me move the camera around, and we're going to go ahead and rotate this like that. That looks amazing. Rotate that. And um, I want the roof to do something fun right here. Mm, I think there's some better options. Let me look down here. Yeah, I can do this. 
on this front part. And then... You know, let me see here. Good. Alright, let me just kind of snap that, and then... Now, I don't actually have enough resources to build that, but we're really close. So we almost have a completely enclosed home. Yes, exactly, Alex. The snap points, it is like, you know, Valheim or any game with snap points. They, they each have their own. It is a bit janky, but this is actually not bad. Now, I need to actually immediately worry about eating. So I need to kind of just look around for some, some grub. Oh, oh, you're talking about small lands. I was going to say, yeah, this has got snap points, but it's it's a little friendlier than uh, Valheim. It's it's a tighter grid. You have less, uh, you know, option, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think I can fish just yet. So... Getting the food I need might be more difficult than I want it to be. I think there's apples or something. Hey, someone. How's it going? Uh, I don't know, my friend. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look. Food becomes easier. But right now, it's like foraging berries. Here we go. Now we're good. Beautiful. Let me just go to my inventory. And then... Um, we will... Pull out the food. Um, and just drop it down here. Like that. Perfect. And I'll just select it. Eat some of this. There we go. This is kind of what Alex was talking about. Eventually we'll get a like a dungeon right around this area. Um, actually, it's right here. But we need to talk to the mayor and finish the kind of opening tutorial to get this going on. Alright, so we should be able to place this. Ah, uh, here we go. I want these berries. We should have enough grass to be able to place this workbench. Fantastic. All right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. That is the wrong weapon. Here we go. Oh my god, so is that. It's worse. Now we got the right stuff. Get all this stone. There we go. Alright. So I should be easily able to... Um, build what we need. And by the way, once you've built your... Uh, bed and placed it. It appears on the map so you can see where my house is uh, and how far away I am from it. So we'll just kind of head up there, do some combat rolls, cover distance a little more rapidly. Here's our starter chest. I don't know if we can actually um, pick this up, but anyway. Don't need to pick up some lumber. combat rolling it. Here's our beautiful home. Let's go ahead and build that workbench. I'm going to go over to the build tab and we're going to select the workbench and oh, I still need lumber, but not very much. Ooh, look at this tree is enormous. 